So let's consider what happens um, with an inelastic collision between a meteor and the Earth. So um, initially, um, consider a meteor with, with mass little m approaching the Earth with mass big M, uh, the meteor having a velocity relative to the Earth of uh, v sub little mi um, on the order of uh, 4 times 10 to the 4th miles per hour, which is 2 times 10 to the 3rd meters per second. Its initial kinetic energy would be, um, uh, for this collision, would, would be the kinetic energy of the meteor, um, 1 half m um, v sub little mi squared. And then uh, the final situation would be that the mass of the meteor and, uh, and the mass of the Earth would stick together and um, the mass of the, uh, the velocity of the combined um, meteor and Earth would then be v sub little m plus big M final. So momentum would be conserved in such a coll collision. Um, the initial momentum um, is on the left side of the equation here. The final momentum is on the right side. So we can use conservation of momentum to solve for the final velocity of the Earth um, and the meteor together. And we can see that it is the ratio of the mass of the meteor to the combined mass of the meteor and the Earth divided by the um, initial um, velocity of the meteor. Um, so the big idea for the rest of the calculation is that um, this quantity multiplying the initial velocity of the uh, meteor is very small since the mass of the Earth is so, so much larger than the mass of the meteor. Um, that in turn means that the final kinetic energy is very small uh, and as we will see most of the essentially all of the initial kinetic energy of the meteor is converted into heat. So the final kinetic energy we can calculate as one-half times the combined mass of the meteor and the Earth times the um, final velocity of the two squared, um, which um, simplifies to one-half times the mass of the meteor squared divided by the combined mass of the meteor and the Earth times the initial velocity of the meteor squared. And now if we take the ratio of the final kinetic energy to the initial kinetic energy, that would be this quantity divided by this quantity, which simplifies to um, little m over little m plus big M. So let's put some numbers in here. Uh, let's suppose we had a meteor that was one kilometer in diameter that it hits the Earth. And let's assume that it's a stony iron meteor, in which case it has a density of 4,000 kilograms per cubic meter, about four times the density of water, in other words. Density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Then we can calculate the mass of this meteor as its volume, um, um, 4 thirds pi r cubed, r is the diameter divided by 2, times the density, and that simplifies to pi over 6 times d cubed times rho, rho being the density, pi is about 3, and so pi over 6 is, is, is roughly 1 half. So its um, mass is roughly its diameter cubed divided by 2 times the, the um, density. Um, and now let's put the numbers in. Um, let's assume, um, as we did in the beginning of this uh, paragraph that d is equal to a, a kilometer, which is a thousand meters cubed divided by two times the density assumed for the meteor, four times ten to the third kilograms per cubic meter, and that turns out to be two times ten to the twelfth kilograms. And so this ratio of final to initial kinetic energy is two times ten to the twelfth over two times ten to the twelfth plus six times ten to the twenty-fourth kgs, um, the latter number being the mass of the Earth. The denominator is essentially just the mass of the Earth, and so um, to very good approximation, the ratio of initial to, to final kinetic energy is simply the mass of the meteor to the mass of the Earth, which is one-third times 10 to the minus 12th, as you can see by dividing the numerator by the mass of the Earth, 3 times 10 to the minus 13. Um, which indicates that essentially all of the meteor is converted to heat. 
So if we take the initial kinetic energy and calculate how much that is, it turns out to be 4 times 10 to the 18th joules, and then convert the joules to megatons, and the conversion factor just looking on the web turns out to be um, 4 times 10 to the 15th joules per megaton. Um, such a 1 kilometer diameter meteor would um, translate to 1,000 megatons huge amount of energy. Uh, and it was um, a meteor um, larger than this that was responsible for the death of the dinosaurs uh, rough, roughly 50 million years ago.